Well, welcome to the winning platform, Talked Winning by Knowledge. The Holy Spirit is a divine facilitator, but not a replacement for the human brain. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding are three keys that propel great success. The grace of God has brought us freedom, divine enablement, and unlimited favor. However, the grace that is abused will be lost. Any knowledge acquired but not applied has no profitable value. This platform, Winning by Knowledge, teaches a balance between personal responsibility and spiritual enablement as keys to unlimited success. You are welcome to this edition of Winning by Knowledge, anchored by Dr. Victor Falak, a pastor, a teacher, and a human resource developer. Empowers can guide you. A follower that does not understand loyalty sees disloyalty as a way of life. Did you hear that? Praise the Lord. I want you to repeat that after me. Say a follower that does not understand loyalty sees disloyalty as a way of life. You are about to watch extracts from the Leadership Governance Wukari March 2020 conference. Element number two, continual followership. Continual followership from the definition I gave. Out of the three elements, number two, continual followership. If you are loyal to a leader, your followership must be continual. You don't follow today and tomorrow you go on holiday or you go on casual leave. Hello? If you are following, the followership is continual. You follow to the end. Jesus had a lot of disciples. You know, we talk about the 12 disciples, 12 disciples, 12 disciples. But there were more than 12 disciples before then. Praise the Lord. Along the way, when Jesus preached a message and said, you will eat my, my body and my body is the flesh that you are going to eat. It was like, what kind of a message is this one? How can this man say we are going to eat his flesh? And a lot of them drew back. And few were left. That means some followed to a point, but the followership was not continual. Loyalty must be continual. Loyalty must be continual. If you read Matthew, uh, Luke, Luke chapter 18 and verse 28, the Bible said, Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. That is what totality, everything totality. We have left all and followed thee. Loyalty in totality. In Matthew 26 and verse 58. But Peter followed him afar off unto the high priest's palace and went in and sat with the servants to see the end. A lot of people will criticize Peter. Oh, Peter betrayed him three times in the palace. Peter did this, Peter did that. But I choose to look at the good side of Peter. Rather than saying Peter denied him three times. The question I ask is, where were the other disciples? Hello? Were they not twelve? Peter followed. Even when they took him to the palace, he followed. Even when he denied the first time, the second time, the third time, he still followed. The Bible said, to see the end. This thing that they arrested my master. I want to see the end. He followed to the end. So when you are only looking at Peter as a betrayer, ask yourself, where were the other disciples? He had a good mind to follow. Yes, even though out of intimidation and fear, he began to follow, he began to deny began to swear and began to deny but he was still about him and his master so peter followed and peter followed and peter followed 
up to that point where others retreated. And I think against every oath that you say against Peter, Peter should be commended for what? For following to the end. Praise the Lord. In Luke Gospel chapter 22 verse 28, the Bible says, Yea, are they which have continued with me in my temptations. That was Jesus addressing the disciples. You are the ones that have continued with me in all my temptations. So that means there were plenty. So where were the other ones? Others left. And so he commended these ones. He acknowledged it. He said, you are the ones that have continued with me in all my temptations. Others will tell you they are loyal, they will follow. But when trouble begins, you are on your own. When temptations, trials will come, you won't find them. You won't find them. They will give you all manner of excuse. If you are following, your followership must be in totality. Must be in totality. The Bible talks about King Amaziah in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 25 and verse 2. The Bible says, And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord but not with a perfect heart but not with a perfect heart the bible commands us for example to give our offering if you give your offering in church that is right because it is commanded but if you give your offering grudgingly, that means you are not giving with a perfect heart so people do the right thing because the bible says he did that which was right but not with a perfect heart if you are giving your offering in church you are doing that which is right but if you are giving it grudgingly that means that you are not doing it with a perfect heart so followership must be with a perfect heart your master gives you an assignment you will carry out that assignment but not with a perfect heart your master sends you on an errand you go for the errand but grudgingly you are angry this man is disturbing my life this pastor will never let me rest this is my spiritual father i'm tired of him you say it in your heart you are doing the right thing by carrying out the assignment but grudgingly he did the right thing. You execute the assignment by doing the right thing, but not with a perfect heart. And that is unacceptable. Therefore, if you must be loyal, the kind of loyalty that will bring you to the level of glory and honor, that loyalty must have the three elements that has been defined in the definition of loyalty. Stay tuned. The Leadership Governance Jalingo 2021 is here. It is an interdenominational conference that deals with church leadership and church governance with the theme Becoming a Better Leader Through Loyalty and Followership. If you are not loyal to your master, you will not gain access to his heart. This year, the 2021 edition promises to be better. Convener, Reverend Dr. Victor Fala, host, Reverend Dr. Isaiah Magaji Jirape, Taraba State Khan Chairman, guest speakers, Bishop Timothy Yahya, Anglican Bishop Kaduna State, and Bishop Isaac Crown, presiding Bishop PPCFAN, Bauchi, Bauchi State. Over 23 books authored by the convener, Reverend Dr. Victor Fala, will be on display, and only registered participants will be entitled to a copy each of the book titled Pastoral Loyalty and Followership, along with other inspiring conference materials. Date 13th and 14th October. October 2021, time 7 a.m. daily, venue, Khan Center, Jalingo. For participation, hurry now and register at www.godsgraceandlove.org forward slash register or call plus 234-081-144-2228. Words of wisdom for today. Every tomorrow is influenced by the decision of today. Extracts from the book, 10 Things God Cannot Do For You authored by Reverend Dr. Victor Falak. 
Welcome back. Loyalty is complete. And when your loyalty is complete, then you know that you are on the pathway to glory. Praise the Lord. You know that you are on the pathway to glory. Loyalty is the key to the heart of the master. You have to take note of that. That is key and that is very important. Loyalty is the follower's key to the master's heart. Loyalty is the follower's key that unlocks the leader's heart, the father's heart. Loyalty is the key. You can be as brilliant as anything. You can speak the best English in the world. If you are not loyal to your master, you will not gain access to his heart. He will never teach you his secret. You will never understand the hidden things that will make you to grow. Those things are in him and he would never give them out to you. The access, the access to your master's heart, the key of the access to your master's heart is not with your master. The key is with you. The key is with you. And that key is what? Loyalty. That key is loyalty. That key is not brilliant. Brilliant is good. But loyalty, that key is not hard work. Hard work is good. I commend dedication and hard work. But the key to the heart of the master is loyalty. If you are not loyal, totally obedient and submissive to a master, you cannot have access to his heart. Whether in your office or in the church or in the family, wherever you are, if you must have access to the heart of your father or your master, it is about loyalty. That is one thing that we've not learned as Christians in the church. If we look at our, we look at our Muslim brothers, whether you like it or not, you can't take it away from them. They are too good when it comes to serving their masters. They are too good. At times, even when I try to, you know, resist some of them, it's just difficult by some of the things that they do. They are just too submissive, you know, to a point. And this is what we have not learned when you look at them by the time the master is there commonly you find it among them very quickly you see them sit down on the floor but what happens amongst ourselves you are seated your master comes in you don't even stand up on the chair you don't even stand up on the chair it doesn't even occur to you that one that has rule over me has just walked in. You sit down on the chair and you greet him like your mate. There are pathways to honor. And when you do not understand this pathway, you think it's just a way to life, just the way I began. And unfortunately for you, you have sat on your destiny. Yourself. You are praying about things that you shouldn't pray about them. Don't go and be praying, oh God, I want to have access to my master's heart. Don't go and do that prayer. I'm giving you the key from today. Total loyalty. And you discover that gradually you are unlocking his heart. Gradually he's beginning to tell you things that he has not told other followers. Gradually he's beginning to call you that I am traveling for a program. Please, can you come with me? He's beginning to introduce you to platforms and to places where others are not following. Read about Jesus Christ. Each time the Bible tells you that he went up to the mountain. Did he go with the 12 disciples? Hello? 
we are all Bible students here. They are particular sets of disciples. You tell you, oh, John, oh, they, they are particular sets of disciples that Jesus was very particular about them. And he took this, 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 and he took the same set of disciples. There's something about them. That's what loyalty does. The Bartholomew and the rest of them, did you hear after mentioning them when Jesus called them, did you read about them again? But is there any place that you hear and Jesus pick one, two, or three disciples that you didn't see John there? There are some of them that became so prominent and Jesus was always carrying them along. Loyalty. And that is what happens. You totally get committed to your master. When he gets to the mountain where heavens will open and you see the Moses, you see the Elijah, you know, all the uh, prophets, heavens will open and all that. Other disciples were down on the foot of the mountain. But the experience that others had, others didn't have that experience. And that is what happens to a loyal son or a son. When you are loyal, there are things that the master brings you up to have access to that others will never have access to them. There are times he calls you up alone without others and he reveals certain things to you and others will never have access to that thing. Loyalty pays. Whoever that is your spiritual father, submit yourself to that person in totality based on the three elements we've learned here. And when you go back to your churches, also teach your own members also to understand this thing so that they can also be a beneficiary of the things that leads one to glory. It's very key and it's very important. The raw materials for converting a follower to a leader is loyalty. Did you hear that? Praise the Lord. The raw material for converting a follower to a leader is loyalty. If you go to any manufacturing organization, for them to produce any output, you need what? You need raw materials. Praise the Lord. You need what? Raw materials. That raw materials is now processed. For you to get gari flour that we use in cooking food, for you to get gari flour, the raw material is what? It's cassava. Praise the Lord. You process the cassava for you to get gari flour. So the cassava is the raw material. The gari flour is the finished product. Similarly too, for you to have to become a finished product in the hand of your master. Because your master is the production manager. Your master is the production manager in the production flow. And so the raw material the master needs to prepare and produce you and make you a finished product is your loyalty. When you are loyal, he now builds you into from servanthood into masterhood. Distinctive loyalty distinguishes a follower to greatness. Did you hear that? Distinctive loyalty distinguishes what? A follower to greatness. There's no great follower that becomes a great leader tomorrow if that follower was, if that follower was never loyal to his or her master. Loyalty. And it happens in every strata of life. Any wife that is submissive to the husband is on the pathway of honor and glory. She's on the pathway of greatness. Any son that is submissive to the father is on the pathway of greatness. Any husband can bear me witness on this. That any wife that is not submissive to the husband, you can never get his attention. Husbands, true or false? Hello, husbands in the house, true or false? No matter how brilliant she is, she can cook the best food for you. Iron your clothes, do everything, call you, oh, darling, oh, the best thing that has ever happened to me. 
The only mosquito in the net, according to others. And I said, I'm not a mosquito. Praise God. So my wife should not tell me I'm the only mosquito in the net. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. And no matter how well the woman seems to do to be in the home if she is not totally submissive to her husband totally submissive to her husband you can never get his attention you can never anything you want to do you can never give him anything you can never get the best of his attention submissiveness submissiveness you give him sex after the sex you are still like a stranger to him because there's something missing and that thing is what you are total obedience and submissiveness cook the best food for him after eating that food something is still missing that thing is what you are total obedience and submissiveness until that thing is complete you cannot get the complete attention of your husband that's why the bible says that wise be what submissive in another word wise be totally loyal to your husbands follow us on this station at 2 30 p.m from saturday to tuesday and at 7 p.m from wednesday to friday be blessed the Leadership Governance Jalingo 2021 is here. It is an interdenominational conference that deals with church leadership and church governance with the theme Becoming a Better Leader Through Loyalty and Followership. If you are not loyal to your master, you will not gain access to his heart. This year, the 2021 edition promises to be better. Convener, Reverend Dr. Victor Fala, host, Reverend Dr. Isaiah Magaji Jirape, Taraba State Khan Chairman, guest speakers, Bishop Timothy Yahya, Anglican Bishop Kaduna State, and Bishop Isaac Crown, presiding Bishop PPCFAN, Bauchi, Bauchi State. Over 23 books authored by the convener, Reverend Dr. Victor Fala, will be on display, and only registered participants will be entitled to a copy each of the book titled Pastoral Loyalty and Followership, along with other inspiring conference materials. Date 13th and 14th October. October 2021, time 7 a.m. daily, venue, Khan Center, Jalingo. For participation, hurry now and register at www.godsgraceandlove.org forward slash register or call plus 234-081-144-2228. Oh, man. Oh, man. Knowledge is the key. Oh, man. Oh, man. Knowledge is the key.